So Greg said they're a cybersecurity professional. They took their courses on with IBM at Coursera, and they're almost done with the course for CYSA on Udemy. What do I think about IC Squared's CC certification, and do I think it will help? So based on where you are in your career, it sounds like you're already in cybersecurity. So I don't think CC is going to do much for you. For those who don't know, the new IC Squared CC, which stands for Certified in Cyber, which I think is the dumbest name for a certification ever, is their new certification, and it is very entry level. Basically, think about it as baby security plus. So if you already have security plus, don't worry about CC. It's not worth your time. That being said, if you're brand new to the field and you're like, hey, I want to figure out is this cybersecurity thing even for me, you can do CC as you're certified in cyber to get that experience and get a really basic knowledge without having to go for the whole 30 hour security plus that takes a lot more effort. I will say that is one of the ones that just came out. There's another one that just came out, which is called the LPI security essentials exam, which is actually a little bit easier than CC because they ask the questions more straightforward. IC squared tends to ask things in a very convoluted manner most times. And I will tell you the LPI security essentials is one that I am currently working on in filming. And we will have a course out for that in the next two months or so. Myself and Kip Boyle are working on that together for people who are trying to break into cyber. And for any of those entry level ones like that, where it's the security essentials or CC or any of the ones like that, really, you're just showing employers, hey, look, I'm making the effort. I'm interested in this field. And they're a low cost way of getting started. So I think CC, uh, they cost like $150 to $200. The security essentials from LPI is like 100 to 125, whereas if you go for Security Plus, it's 392. So if you're not sure you even want to do this whole thing and put in all that effort, you can start with one of these entry-level ones, get an idea, do I like it? Do I like having to be tested all the time? Because in the cybersecurity world, you're constantly taking tests to go to the next certification. And if you find that this is what you like, then you can go into Security Plus, CYSA, Pentest Plus, CEH, IC Squared, CISSP, and things like that. Specifically for you, Greg, because you're already in cybersecurity, if you have five years of experience, I would start studying after your CYSA plus for your CISP through IC squared. Very difficult certification, but well worth it if you can get it. And to answer the question before somebody asks, no, I do not teach IC squared courses. I don't teach certified in cyber and I don't teach CISP. I do recommend ThorTeaches.com. Thor, like the Marvel superhero with the hammer, teaches.com. He does a great job on both of those. And so I just recommend him. And I will tell you that updating CISP, basically every year he has to redo the entire course. And if I did CISP, I wouldn't Ooh. be able to do 10 other courses that we're doing for everybody else. So we made the business decision not to get into the CISP market, let Thor handle that. And we then focus on the stuff that we do really well. And when we can serve a lot more people with what we do.